why would you get all dressed up only to tell everybody you're not going to wrestle tonight? This is a disappointment. Max Starr wanted to compete tonight at the highest level, and Bo Anderson has a hairline. Wait a minute! He just attacked him from behind! He's perfectly fine! What the heck? Continue his winning streak in the CSW Celebrity Here is medical conditions. I'm sure he's got a rap sheet of injuries. I was 16 years old when I saw the tape of the War Games with the American Dream, Dusty Rhodes, and the Kid Bola, and the Road Warriors wrestled the Four Horsemen. And I said to myself that day, that's what I want to do. And, you know, I talked to Arn Anderson. Being in Anderson, being from Minnesota, I take a lot of pride in that. I knew the match last month with Braun the Lumberjack was going to change me, but I didn't realize that it was going to change me this much. I came to wrestle tonight. I bought, I bought a new outfit, but unfortunately, my doctors back in Chicago I have not cleared me to wrestle. And as a matter of fact, they haven't? the team here tonight also have not cleared me to wrestle. I have a hair fracture in my neck. And they, they have informed me that I may never wrestle again. I don't believe it's him. It's not what I wanted to do. It's with a heavy heart. And I'm sorry I can't wrestle tonight. Hopefully I'll be back. But Max Starr, I will shake your hand. Referee, if you let me keep my dignity, I'm going to walk out of here. I'll take the count out loss. I'm going to head home and I got a lot to think about. Thank you. Well, that was touching, but why would you get all dressed up only to tell everybody you're not going to wrestle tonight? This is a disappointment. Max Starr wanted to compete tonight at the highest level, and Bo Anderson has a hairline. Wait a minute! He just attacked him from behind. He's perfectly fine. What the heck? Max Starr was brutalized from behind, and Anderson's trying to get a victory here in mere seconds, if at all possible. And he's tied up Max Starr upside down as he stomps on him repeatedly in the corner. This man is a lying, manipulative, corporate greedy, no good lying scumbag in every single level. The power trip, the manager of champions. And tomorrow night, in the main event, of a 10-man tag team elimination match, he puts his managerial position as an Anderson with the power trip at stake. Look at what he just did to Max Starr. Just Joe focused on everything else but what's going on in the ring, and Max Starr's been violated badly. Anderson has a chance to force the suspensions of five men tomorrow night at 
after a 10-man tag team elimination match. But he's not thinking about that now. He wants to definitely teach this young man a lesson. There it is, the spine buster, and it's all over. Anderson has wasted Max Starr in record time. He outsmarted him. He brutalized him. Disqualification, hardcore fans bring the weapons match, and now Max Star is fighting back. A little too little, too late, isn't it? He ducks the clothesline. And a big forearm smash. He knocked Anderson down. And I think Anderson's had enough. I think his time for gloating is over. He got what he wanted, a cheap win. Oh, Anderson down the road. That cannot stand. 